Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to generate a complex form from a schema. This form generation system is capable of building intricate forms divided into multiple sections with help text, footer descriptions, and header descriptions for each form field or section. You can include descriptions, notes, and help text for every section. It supports several field types such as text, select, number, radio, date, and month. Additionally, it allows you to add prefixes and suffixes, all by simply editing the schema. Now let me walk you through the admin view of this form generation system. Here is the admin view. On the left side, you can see a list of all the form submissions. On the right side, when you select a submission, the corresponding form fields are displayed. At the top, you'll find important buttons like Send Invitations, which allows you to invite users to fill out the form, and Print PDF, which lets you print the selected form. When you click on any form submission in the list, you'll see options such as Delete, Edit, and Lock. The Lock option allows you to prevent further editing of the submitted form. Let me demonstrate how this works. First, I'll click the Send Invitations button. When I click it, a dialog box pops up asking for comma-separated email IDs so I can invite multiple users at once. After entering the email IDs and clicking the Send button, all recipients will receive an invitation email containing a code and a link to the form. Now let me demonstrate by adding an email ID and clicking the Send button. You can see the invitation code has been sent. Let's switch to the recipient's email inbox to verify. Here you can see the invitation code and the link to the form. I'll open the form, enter my email ID, and input the received invitation code. Once the login is successful, the form will be displayed. Now let me start filling out the form. Notice this floating save button. It allows you to intermittently save your progress. This feature is particularly useful for lengthy forms as it ensures your data is saved periodically. If you log out, close the browser, or reopen the form later, your saved details will automatically load into the form. Once the form is completely filled, a Submit button will appear at the bottom. Clicking the Submit button saves your data, emails the submitted details to the admin, and also sends a copy to the person who filled out the form. Let me demonstrate by completing the form and clicking Submit. As you can see, the form has been successfully submitted and the confirmation email has been sent. Let's check the recipient's inbox. Here is the nicely formatted form response. This response, including its formatting, is generated directly from the schema. No additional component editing is required. Now returning to the admin view, let me refresh it. Once refreshed, you can see the newly submitted form. When I click on it, the detailed form fields are displayed. As an admin, I can also view the inbox to confirm that the submitted form has been received. Here it is in the admin's email inbox. This is how the system works. In the next section, I'll provide a brief code walkthrough, explain how the different components function, and show you how to customize and extend this system. Now let me give you a detailed code overview and walkthrough. Before we dive into the code, I'd like to request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please hit the like button to support my work. To begin, open the spreadsheet. You'll find the link to the spreadsheet in the description below. Next, open the apps script editor by going to extensions and then apps script in the spreadsheet menu. This will open the script editor. For this demo, I have already opened the script editor and the form side by side. This application consists of three key components, header, form section, and footer. To customize the header, open the header.html file located in the components folder 
in the script editor. You can modify the brand name, brand logo, and email ID here. This file controls everything related to the header design and content. Similarly, to customize the footer, edit the footer.html file located in the components folder. This file allows you to adjust footer-related details, such as text and links. The sign-in form component handles user authentication. In most cases, customization here is minimal, but the structure can be modified if necessary. Let me sign in to open the main form. Once signed in, the form section is displayed. This section is powered by the form.html file located in the components folder. The form generator component dynamically creates the form fields based on a predefined schema. The schema specifies field types like text, radio, dropdown, number, date, etc. Attributes like help text, labels, descriptions, prefixes, suffixes, and more. Notes and descriptions. These can include bullet points by providing descriptions as arrays in the schema. If you want to add new field types or extend functionality, you can modify the form.html file. Now let's look at the schema file. The schema responsible for generating the form resides in the form schema mixin.html file within the mixins folder. The schema defines the sections, title, and fields for each section. Each field includes attributes like type, label, field class, label class, prefix, suffix, Options for drop-down or radio fields. You can also define help text, notes, and footer descriptions for added clarity. For example, if you want a bulleted help text provided as an array of strings, the application will render these as a bulleted list automatically. Now coming to the admin view. The admin view allows you to manage form submissions, on the left, you'll see a list of submissions. On the right, when you select a submission, the associated form data is displayed. At the top, there are buttons for actions like send invitations and print PDF. The admin view is powered by the response table.htm file in the components folder. This file handles rendering the send invitations and print PDF buttons. Displaying the submission list with details like ID, client name, and lock status. Showing the form fields for a selected submission. The form section in the admin view uses the same component as the client side form, ensuring consistency. To deploy this application, click the deploy button in the app script editor. Choose new deployment and select web app as the type. Add a description like version one. Set execute as to me and who has access to anyone. Click Deploy and authorize the script when prompted. Once deployed, you'll receive a URL. Copy this URL and update the api.js file in the script editor. Replace the existing URL in the file with the new one. You can also customize the response sheet name, the admin email which will receive submitted form data, the email subject line for form submissions. The subject line can be customized further to include the client's name and the submission date by modifying the logic at line 34 in the code. You can also customize the email body containing submitted form details. This block is responsible for generating the HTML body for the submitted form details. You can change the styling by editing the inline CSS. Now let me open the application first. To open the admin view, append p equals to admin view to the deployed URL. This gives access to the admin interface for managing submissions. Once opened, you can use the send invitations button to invite users. In summary, this application provides a highly customizable form generation system powered by a schema. It also includes admin view for managing submissions, 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.